Well, I'm Stan Sakai, and I do the comic book Usagi Ojimbo. I've been doing this since 1984, and Usagi is a samurai rabbit. It came about because I wanted to do a comic book about the life of Miyamoto Musashi, who was a, a 17th century samurai. And I grew up reading comic books, so I wanted to put the two together, you know, part of my Japanese heritage, as well as uh, my love of comic books. But one day while just sketching in my sketchbook, I drew a rabbit with his ears tied up into a chonmagi, you know, a samurai top knot. And I loved the design. It was simple, but it was unique. So instead of Miyamoto Musashi, my character became Miyamoto Usagi. Usagi, of course, means rabbit in Japanese. And I've been working with Usagi now for the past 20 years. Okay, I usually uh, start off really light. Uh, start off with basic, basic, basic shapes here. And drawing this fast and this loose, I can change things easily, such as oh, I don't want this arm to be down. Maybe I want it to be up and his hands pointing, maybe I want him to look this way. And that pretty much rusts in the, uh, the character, blocks it in. From there, it's just pretty much uh, doing some details. Do you work mostly in mechanical pencil? Uh, yeah, I'm lazy, I don't like to sharpen pencils. So these things are great. And in Japanese tradition, the kimono is always left over right until you're dead, then it goes the other way. Doing Usagi was very organic. Um, I wasn't sure whether to do a historical story or do a fantasy series with uh, you know, monsters from Japanese mythology. And not only the, you know, the horrendous monsters, but also the weird, quirky stuff, which I loved. The first Usagi story pretty much outlined the entire series. It was uh, accurate as far, you know, as far as history and culture goes, but also had that wackiness, that quirky uh, monsters, a fantasy feel to it. So I took a bit from both. I use pens on these because I used to use brushes, but like I said, I'm lazy. I don't like to clean brushes. Everything's done with uh, various pen points. The problem is that companies tend to phase out pens every so often. So once you find a pen that you really like, buy a bunch of them. This pen here has been uh, unavailable for about 15 years. How many did you buy? Uh, I bought enough for a 25 year supply. Oh my goodness. But I'm halfway, uh, I've gone through half of them already, so I'm getting worried. And it's great because this is a, has a nice flex to it. I can get a thin line as well as a thick line. This is his mong, his family crest. And it's based upon the look of a rabbit's footprint. I was going to use my family's uh, mong on, the, on Usagi, but it's a bit too, too complicated. So I wanted something that's very simple that I can draw and it'll read at a distance. 
so I came up with this three dot. Well, Usagi writes himself. Of course, I write the stories, but Usagi directs these stories himself. And he's grown and matured over the years. If you look back on the early Usagi stories, you see that he's uh, changed physically. And that was totally unconscious on my part. It's just the natural growth of Usagi. Uh, he, he changes over the years. The type of stories that he's in have changed over the years. Well, I really enjoy doing the research. For me, it connects me with my culture. I'm third generation Japanese American. And I love history and that's really fulfilling to me. But Usagi is primarily for entertainment and the research is secondary. I try to do as much research as I can, but within reason. You know, I don't want the research to overwhelm the stories. And like I said, I'm lazy and I don't like to wash brushes. So I use these nylon tip refillable brushes and I fill them up with uh, my own ink. I've used this particular one for about three years now and that's why the tip is so so flat, he used to be of a very sharp point. But I use these primarily just for spotting in the black. So. I use uh, Badger Black Opaque. It's for water uh, or for airbrush, but it works great with uh, pens. It doesn't clog, it's free flowing, it's waterproof, and it's very dense. Then I put in all the little details. And the last detail is always takes the longest. Putting in all these dots. All the dots are done by hand. But I don't like using a mechanical, um, you know, those uh, shading sheets or anything, or doing it on the computer. Like I said, I like the printed piece to look as close to the original as possible. And I just think it's like an earthier feel done by hand. It's more random. I just like the look of it. It does take time though, especially when you do an entire issue. Well, the creation of characters, they evolve either way. I may think about a visual first and then find a, a story to put him in. Or I may think of a character um, and then do the visuals after I've established the, the personality of the characters. There was one character named Inspector Ishida, who is a, a cop. And so my first sketches of Ishida was that he was a strong, silent type, you know, big square jaw, huge guy. And then later I got to thinking about the story. So I visualized a Hawaiian detective named uh, Changapana. And he was a really small guy, um, but he carried around a bullwhip. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll just go the other way. So Inspector Ishida, instead of being a big, burly, you know, square jaw guy, uh, the typical hero type, turned into a really small, very quiet, smoking, um, um, short guy. <laughs> These are called artist colors. They're pigmented inks. So they actually do have pigments in it so they won't fade as would normal dyes or inks. Sagi's always in, in certain colors. And that lizard, that Takagi, is usually green, though they do come in multicolors. Also, those lizards serve a purpose in Usagi's ecosystem since all the, or what would, what would be scavengers such as dogs and cats and such, are potential people in Usagi's world. I needed something to take the place of pets and scavengers. And these little dinosaurs are perfect for that. And they're just so fun to draw. Well, I like Gen, the bounty hunter. He's a rhinoceros, and I love the massiveness of the rhino. And he's a nice counterpoint to Usagi, where he's a big, lot bigger than Usagi. And Gen was actually based upon Toshiro Mifune's appearances in Yojimbo and Sanjudo. 
where he has that uh, that scruffiness to him and he's scratching himself and the way even the personality the way he manipulates people and I kind of love that so I created Jen and I gave him uh, uh, Sanjiro's uh, personality in there yeah I usually start off light and work my way to the dark and I usually start off tight and then I get looser as I put more layers on Like I said, I usually work in layers and the uh, inks are transparent so you can see some of the undercoating. And these are just to define the shadows and the various uh, shapes and things. Pick up an issue of Wasagi and I hope you enjoy it.